Oh, hey, how you doing? This is Jefferson from Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're going to be installing an epoxy floor coating from You Coat It that we picked up from SummitRacing.com. Now this is a brand new building and this concrete was poured about 30 days ago. It's had time to cure. It has not been treated or coated with any top coat and so it's perfect. It's primed and ready for this U-coated epoxy system. So what we're going to do is show you the entire process on how to lay down this U-coat two-part epoxy system so you can do it in your shop. To prep the concrete we have to use muriatic acid. Now this is done about a half a gallon per 500 square foot of shop floor. So the kit comes with what you need. You got your safety glasses and some gloves. Get those put on. Now you're dealing with acid and anytime you're mixing acid you want to put your water in first and then add the acid to the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this bucket about three quarter of the way and we're going to add half of this. You want to pour it nice and easy. You don't want it to splash. It will burn your skin, burn your eyes, and of course, ruin your clothes. All right, so we got about half a gallon there. We're going to mix this up. Now, since we're doing 1,500 square foot, we're going to have to do this a couple of times. Right, so now what we're going to do is we've got our brush. We're used to take this, spill it out on the floor. You see how it uh, foams up like that? That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, now we've done our first run of the muriatic acid, and we've got a squeegee, and we're rinsing the floor. You want to rinse, and then we'll repeat with the uh, muriatic acid one more time. Each kit comes with one roller, a br couple of brushes, the Utex coating, which is the anti-slip, and part A, B, which in two parts, so one's for the bond coat, one's for the finish coat. And then for the bond coat, you also add part C. Our bucket's clean and ready to go. I'm going to show you how to put on the Utex. This is done with a broadcast method. So basically, you just sprinkle it out on the floor as you're rolling it. Well, you don't want to get it too heavy in spots because you're going to end up with a, an area that's hard to, to brush clean, to sweep clean. So what we're going to do... We just take a regular spice shaker from the kitchen and clean it out. So now we can keep this in our pocket, pop the lid and shake it out, and we'll be good to go. Right. We've already shaken our cans, so these are good to go. Just pour that in. Part B. Now we go with our part C. Now then we just mix this up nice and thorough. Now this is a 1500 square foot floor. So we're gonna end up needing at least three kits to cover this floor. But we're only mixing them one at a time. The reason for this is that this stuff has a pot life. Depending on the ambient temperature and humidity, this stuff can set up as quickly as 10, 15 minutes. If it's nice and cool and relatively low humidity, it can last up to an hour. We don't know how long it's going to take, so we're doing it one at a time. If you mix it up all at once, you're never going to get to the end of your shop. All right, so the kit comes with chip brushes. You just want to dip them in the bucket and do exactly what it sounds like. Just roll the edges. You just want to come out two or three inches from the side of your floor here. 
to get everything trimmed. All right, now what's nice about having a second person is that they can be trimming while you can start rolling out the rest of the shop. So what we do, you dip that roller in, you want to get it covered, and then you can start rolling out. You do not want to just pour the epoxy straight on the floor because it will pool up and it will not cure correctly and it, there, it will be a big problem. So we're just going to go ahead and start on this corner and start rolling. Our base coat has been drying for about six hours. It's not tacky anymore. Uh, it, it's good, you can walk on it. So we're ready to put down our top coat. The key here is you want to make sure that you have a smooth, even finish. Unlike the base coat, which can have splotches and whatnot, your top coat can't have any splotches because that's going to show up in the final finish. So we're gonna mix this up and get to work. Now for this application, I'm working by myself. So I'm going to start in one corner work to the other, bring it out the back, so we finish up that way. Just like before, you want to get a, dip it in, drain it off, and start. given the top coat 12 hours to cure so it's safe to walk on. We're going to give another 12 hours before we drive any vehicles on the surface and we'll have total cure in 7 to 10 days. Now this looks absolutely incredible. We've got a nice even surface. It really brightened up the shop. This is a really cool process. It's easy to do. We spent about one day doing the actual coating and we did it all with summitracing.com. We're just about ready to get our stuff moved in, so we'll see you next time.